Yes, I agree. <笑> Hello， 大家好，誒、uh, ，我係 Irene 啦。咁今日我哋好高興邀請咗 David Hawkins， 誒、uh, ，the university guy。So， 誒、um,。咁今日咧，阿 David 會同我哋解答誒、呃、關於而家誒 A level 啊、IB 啊嗰啲學生入英國大學嗰啲問題啦，同埋都會講關於英國同埋誒誒美國嗰啲 university 嘅問題咯。嗯、um, ，David，thank you very much for joining us at our live today. 誒、uh, ，if you could kindly introduce yourself and、um, what Hello, Chris. I think we've lost Irene. Should I carry on with the introduction? Yeah, I should. Yeah, you should、uh, introduce yourself, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Irene. Thank you, Chris, for having me. Thank you, everyone, for joining.、Uh, my name is David Hawkins. I'm the director and founder of the University Guys.、Um, we are a team of specialist university advisors. Um, and I do this work、um, as a member of the Council of International Schools, the Council of British International Schools, the International Association for College Admissions Counselling, and the Independent Educational Consultants Association. And what that means is that we are part of a global admissions community offering independent and、uh, non-affiliated to universities advice. So unlike an agent who may take commission based on placing a certain university, we advise on, on the whole market, the whole world. And are able to be part of a trusted community of worldwide admissions officers and advisors. Okay, 咁誒、uh, 今日我哋嘅嘉賓咧就係、是、David Hawkins 啦。咁誒、uh, 正如喺 PowerPoint 度都提到，咁其實佢就係即係好多唔同嘅會，例如話 International Association of 誒、uh, for College Admission Counseling 啊，誒誒誒 The Councils of International Schools 誒、uh, 諸如此類嘅唔同嘅誒嘅一個 consultants 啦。誒亦都係唔同嘅組織嘅一個即係誒誒 members 啦，咁佢係唯一一個係有齊咗我哋剛才所講嘅四間誒、呃、四個唔同嘅誒 association 嘅誒、呃、成員資格嘅一個獨立大學顧問。咁誒佢就唔係因為佢面對個誒 market 咧係講緊全世界嘅，咁所以其實佢就唔會話啊，即係因為收咗誒某一兩間學校嘅 commission。咁然之後就會俾一個即係誒 favour 佢哋嘅建議咯，咁所以呢個係誒、呃、大家可以即係安心知道啊，即係其實佢俾嘅意見係一個好好公平、公正、好 impartial 嘅建議嘅。OK， thank you。And、um, we support students on university applications all around the world. The United Kingdom, United States, Canada, and European countries are our most popular destinations. And we support students through a three-step process. Working out first of all where in the world do they want to apply in order to maximise their chances of admission to a university that meets the family's requirements. Then, based on that overall strategy, what do you need to do to get ready for those applications? And then finally, with intensive support with application essays and portals, we make sure that every element of a student's application works to their advantage. OK， 咁通常誒，即係誒誒 David 佢哋咧就會有三步曲嘅建議啦。第一步咧係探索，就睇下大家想申請，即係首先要知道自己誒申請世界嘅邊，即係邊一個地方嘅大學啦。咁比較熱門嘅選擇就可能係英國、美國、誒、呃、加拿大或者歐洲。好啦，跟住去到第二步咧，就係、是、根據個選擇咧，就睇下做啲乜嘢先至可以完成到個申請。咁就係一個即係、就是、prepare 嘅過程啦。去到第三步咧，就係、是、誒、呃、真係去去到去申請啦。咁就確保即係誒啲學生喺申請嘅過程中，每一個嘅元素都最能夠去誒、呃、展現到佢哋自己嘅長處或者優點咯。So I'm going to very quickly talk about four reasons why university beyond the UK is different to other options, and then delve into some more questions about. The、uh, particular challenges for students with university applications right now. Okay, 咁今日我哋即系阿 David 陣就會講到啊，即系誒究竟喺海外嘅大學，即係比較與眾不同嘅因素或者個原因係在於邊度咧？咁樣。So the first key difference is once you start to look beyond maybe the UK context, and we work typically with students at boarding schools here in the UK or in Ireland. To support them with non-UK applications, is that the way in which students might choose a university is different. In that, 
in the UK model, students are looking for a subject that they wish to study and the grades that they have to filter down into a selection of universities that are appropriate for them. And we have a very gradated ranking system of students who will be able to go to the best university. When we look in other countries, there are different cultures about the way in which students choose universities. And so it's important for us to explain that maybe the terms such as Russell Group or G5, which might be useful in choosing a UK university, that that concept can't be picked up and translated to a different system. So we <laughs> help students understand how a student in the United States might choose a US university, a student looking to Ireland might choose an Irish university and so on. OK， 咁誒，即係 David 剛才講到啦，咁其實佢哋最主要係幫即係誒其中一個即係最主要嘅誒即係客户來源就可能係嚟自誒英國或者係愛爾蘭一啲 boarding school 嘅學生啦。咁例如喺英國去揀大學咧，其實每個地方唔同揀大學咧，都有佢哋自己唔同嘅文化。例如話喺英國咧，咁好多時候咧誒就會睇下即係佢哋誒想讀嘅學科啦，誒佢哋自己攞到啲咩 grade 啦。誒或者佢佢哋個即係大學嘅 ranking 去到邊度啦咁樣，咁誒、呃、但係唔同嘅地方嗰個 culture 都會有啲唔同嘅，即係例如誒、呃、英國嘅 Russell Group 或者係 G5 點樣可以將佢誒變成另外一個地方嘅 contest， 令到誒啲、呃、學生係能夠理解到咧？咁呢個就係佢哋其中一個即係即係主要嘅工作。The second reason why it can be different is that very much in a culture in the UK and Europe. Um, and parts of Asia is that you go to university to study something. So I studied history at Oxford, and I was therefore admitted to study history. However, in many other parts of the world, particularly in the United States, students may not choose what they study. So as、mm. I work with a student this year who was admitted to study economics at Cambridge,、mm. but in the U.S. system, he was just admitted to Stanford in order to study their broader curriculum. And so it's important that students understand that depending on what their academic goals are, they might be better suited to different particular countries. Okay. 誒，咁剛才 David 就講到啦，即係例如誒，例如英國嘅學生咁，即係例如以佢自己為例，咁佢係入去 Oxford 就讀誒歷史系嘅咁樣，咁就一個好清晰嘅一個 subject， 話俾大家聽，想想讀啲乜嘢咁樣。咁呢個都係一般即係誒去英國讀大學或者英國嘅學生喺大學升讀嘅時候咧，會諗嘅行為模式。但係，例如話去美國就唔同啦。美國嘅話，可能佢哋唔會諗自己讀啲咩 subject， 但係佢可能話啊，咁我 apply 或者我會讀誒誒誒 Stanford 咁樣。咁但係至於入到去誒誒、呃、讀讀啲乜嘢咧，或者真係讀啲咩，就到時就好 depends on 佢自己一個即係誒學術上嗰個目標或者成果，想達到咩成果咯。The third reason is that what people within a country mean when they talk about a good university. Means different things. So in the United Kingdom, we might focus on the G5 or the Russell Group when we mean good, but that doesn't mean that the Ivy League as a term is the same. And actually, if you look at the scale of it, a country、mm. like the UK with 180 universities compared to a country like the United States with four and a half thousand universities, we need to have different impressions of what good is. So a student looking maybe at G5 in the UK might look at 30 universities if they were looking at the United States. They might look at three if they were looking at Canada, and they might just look at one if they were looking at Ireland. Okay. Um. 例如即係即係正如剛才 David 所講啦，其實即係 good university 個定義咧。誒喺唔同嘅國家嚟講咧，都係唔同嘅。誒、呃，例如話英國，我哋好普遍會理解即係、就是、Russell Group 啦，或者 G5 咧，就一個好嘅 university。咁但係呢樣嘢係咪等同於美國嘅 Ivy League 咧？即、就、係、是、我哋誒成日所講嘅常春藤誒、呃、大學聯盟咧？誒唔係嘅，因為誒、呃、美國嘅大學嘅數量咧，誒係誒係啦，即係、就是、兩地嘅個嗰個大學嘅數量咧，係唔唔。均稱啊，咁所以如果咁樣去直接比較咧，咁其實誒、呃、就未必符合到即係大家理解嗰個關於 good 嘅個 definition 咯。And the final one is that the UK application system, known as UCAS, the University and Colleges application system, is a very streamlined and simple system.、Um, and most other country systems are going to involve significant amounts more work, including potentially direct applications to universities. And so students who would be looking to study in other countries need to start earlier and put more work into it, which is why specialists like us at the university guys can be helpful. 
。OK， 咁嚟話誒，英國一般去申請大學就係用 UCAS 啦。咁我相信即係、就是、準備入大學嘅同學仔都會知道。誒、呃，咁但係誒、呃、美國嘅大學咧，或者世界其他大放大學咧，可能唔同嘅，因為相對嚟講 ，UCAS 係可能比較簡單啲，或者 streamline 啲。去完成成個 process 啦，咁但係例如話喺誒美國嘅大學，可能你係要直接去申請誒 direct application 嘅，咁所以誒呢、呃、樣嘢就係要要求，即、就、係、是、第一對個大學有多啲嘅瞭解啦，第二可能誒學生去做一啲事前嘅準備咧，係可能要比較多啲嘅。I've been asked to talk a little bit about what will happen on results day this August with A levels. Um, the timeline has been kept the same, so the students will get their results on the same day、um, from the A-level systems, and indeed the universities will be getting the results on the same day as well. Okay, 咁誒即係誒誒今日誒今年就決定咗即係 A-level 嗰個時間幾時啦。咁咁所以其實誒即係大學亦都會知道嗰個即係誒個放榜嘅日期係究竟係幾時嘅。And so, when on results day, there are two different scenarios that students might be faced. The first one will be if a student underperforms on their grades. So, the student was made an offer to achieve certain grades and they missed that offer. Then, what might happen? Well, the first thing to say there is that the universities get the A-level results about five days, six days before the student does. So, the student could still find on results day. That even though they have missed their offer, the university might still choose to take them. However, if the university that the student is holding their firm offer at declines to take that student, then the student might fall down to meet the offer for their insurance place. If they miss that offer, then it is again up to that university to decide whether to still have that student come or not. If they decline, then the student falls into clearing, which is a process where. Universities who need students try to offer those places to students who are looking for a university. In the COVID-19 situation, we are expecting huge amounts of flexibility, and so we would expect that students who miss their grades for an offer are still highly likely to be taken to do that course. Hmm. Okay. 咁刚才 David 就讲到，即系我谂大家都知道啦。其实一般。誒、呃，大家去放榜嘅時候都會即係即係都會知道噶啦。咁其實可以有兩個唔同嘅 scenario 嘅。第一個就係即係你嘅成績係誒不似預期啦。另外一個咧就係你嘅成績係超出預期。咁剛才 David 就即係簡單解釋咗啊。咁如果你嘅成績係誒不似預期或者超出預期嘅時候咧，你各自會面對啲咩情況咧？就係、是、剛才都簡單介紹咗嗰個所謂誒 clearing 誒嘅 system 究竟係點樣運作咯。For students who maybe perform better than expected, they are able to enter a process called adjustment, which is the opposite of clearing, where universities that perhaps a student didn't even apply to will still be looking for students to come to them. The student is able to hold the place they already have met,、um, and then go over a period of time to contact other universities and ask if that university would be interested in them trading up. Um, and that again is something which this year we would expect there to be huge flexibility in. Okay. 咁另外一個情況咧就係、是、你當你成績超出預期嘅時候點咧？咁即係如果你 un 誒、呃、即係不似預期啦，咁就即係進入一個所謂 clearing system。咁但係如果你誒、呃、超出預期嘅話咧，就係、是、另一個相反啦，就係、是、一個 adjustment 咯。咁然之後你就可以去誒同、呃、一啲即係你心儀嘅大學去聯繫，去睇下佢哋對。即係你個 application 有冇興趣？因為你 perform 嘅成績係超即係 over perform 啊嘛，咁所以就睇下即係究竟佢哋有冇興趣去誒接收你呢個學生啦。So that hopefully is very reassuring, but there is the question of actually what would it be like to come to a UK university this autumn with the COVID-19 situation？ 嗯，咁其實我諗大家都會好想了解，即、就、係、是、例如三個月後。即係誒九月嘅時候，咁一般大學開學啦，咁究竟會面對一個乜嘢嘅情況咧？喺英國嘅大學 ，You may have seen reported widely news that was came from Cambridge,、um, which unfortunately was misreporting the reality. And what、oh. we will see in the UK is going to be depending on the university and depending on the course, possibly three different models of university delivery this year. 
OK， 咁相信即係大家有留意英國新聞就知道，即係關於誒劍橋大學喺二零二零年至二零二一年嘅時候嗰個模式係點樣咧？即、就、係、是、我諗大家都會即係誒睇好多唔同嘅新聞，但係即係誒 David 所講，其實係一個 misreport 嚟嘅。咁其實唔同嘅大學係有唔同嘅誒 model 咯。咁我哋會逐一講解。So firstly, for Cambridge, what was announced was that they would not hold any in-person lectures this year. However, Cambridge's teaching model is based on very small, intensive teaching. Normally, one professor to two or three students. And for universities who have that model, that is going to be one that can continue in an age of social distancing. And so, by freeing up their lecture halls to be instead delivered online, Cambridge have given themselves space. Whereby there a class that maybe have had 15 students in a room that fitted 15 students can now take place in a bigger room. So universities with a small scale intensive teaching model will be able to pivot to doing the same model but making a better use of the facilities they have. Okay, 例如話即係劍橋咁就係誒嗰啲 in person 嘅誒我誒 lecture 啦，咁就會轉成一個 online class 啊。On a course 啊，咁但係其實劍橋嗰個 teaching model 其實佢哋好重視一個即係小組或者小班嘅形式嘅，誒、呃，所以誒、呃，即係佢哋都會 free 咗啲房間出嚟，令到佢哋可以即係安排啲可能 let's say 十五人左右嘅一個誒誒、呃呃、課堂咯。咁所以喺呢一個即係佢 free 咗一啲大嘅 lecture hall 嘅時候，佢就會有更加多空間去更加善用成個劍橋大學嘅校園去係啦，令到一個喺比較安全嘅環境底下去繼續上堂，係啦。Second model， 佢佢劍橋呢個即係 teaching model 咧，其實佢係好多都係一對二啊、一對三咁嘅模式嘅，所以其實啊係、uh, for social distancing 係誒，即係佢會 comply with social distancing 咯嚇，所以其實唔係。冇 lectures， 誒誒係少啲，佢會 continue 佢細嗰啲 group 嘅 seminar， which is what Cambridge is、um, known for， isn't it， David？ 誒、uh, ，the、yes. yeah the one to two， one to three， one to one， so it's not that Cambridge is not is running completely online， is that they will be doing more of this and just the lectures are online。Yeah, and I would say,、um, from my experience at Oxford and many students I've worked at both Oxford and Cambridge, most students don't go to lectures anyway; they're not compulsory. So, so that's that's the model there.、Um, the second model, a university like Manchester have announced, where actually a lot of the teaching is delivered in big lectures, will have to respond quite differently. If you are used to having two hundred students in a lecture hall for two hundred students, that will have to change. But also in a university as big as somewhere like Manchester. Where you have a lot of labs with students working closely next to each other, that is again going to be a, a different model. So a university like Manchester will have to have more of its delivery online because that is the the reality of the facilities and the teaching style they already have. Okay, 咁另外一個模式咧就可能係即係例如話 Manchester 呢種 model 啦，咁佢哋可能比較多一啲係。誒、呃、誒、呃、lecture 嘅形式嘅，咁即係唔同 Cambridge 咁樣一對一、一對二咁樣。咁如果即係以前佢哋嗰個 lecture room 係誒、呃、lecture hall 係俾二百人上堂，誒、呃、容納到二百人嘅話，誒咁佢哋可能要轉咯，即係要轉呢個模式咯。又或者佢哋本身喺 lab 度上堂，咁大家即係誒、呃、本身同學與同學之間太 close 嘅話，咁呢個模式都要轉嘅。咁佢哋就可能要轉多啲，係轉去誒誒、呃呃、網上嘅教學比較多啲。And the third model is one that's being piloted by a university such as Bolton, which has a bigger campus, has a variety of students, some living at home, some living in various halls of residence, where they are able to stretch their day out. So rather than all the teaching taking place in a condensed format, they can have more classes with smaller numbers of students in them and make use of a larger campus to potentially add new temporary teaching facilities or even use their their Um, grounds, so that they can deliver the same model, but may be much more flexible in terms of how many people are in each classroom. Okay, 咁例如誒，即係即係剛才講嘅第三種模式咧，咁就係即係我係稱之為誒博爾頓模式啦，係啦。咁其實佢哋就會誒誒更加 flexible 嘅，因為佢哋嗰個即係 campus 可能會即係都會大啦。咁然之後，所以咁佢哋可以有誒多啲唔同嘅誒 classroom。
，咁然之後去誒、呃、令每個 classroom 都可以就係少啲學生，或者佢會可以再 make good use of 佢成個學校嘅 facilities， 令到啲誒、呃、即係即係成個模式個彈性誒、呃、會比較再大啲咯。Then I'm going to touch on briefly, and given time, I'll have to cut this a bit short. On looking beyond the UK, what different models of university experience do students from UK boarding schools choose to go and study at? 嗯哼，系啦，咁我哋嚟紧会介绍下，即系唔同大学嘅嘅模式究竟系点，咁即系令到同学可以更加了解，系啦，不同大学模式。So the United States is a very popular option, but it is one with an awful lot of complexity into it. I have shown you three photos of universities here. The one in the middle is Dartmouth College,、uh, one of the Ivy League in the town of Hanover, New Hampshire. The purple one is New York University in the middle of Manhattan Island, and the one with the blue flags is the University of California, Los Angeles,、uh, on the west coast. Okay, 咁誒，即係三個唔同嘅大學都係即係展現一個好唔同嘅風格啦。咁所以即係 David 今日揀咗呢三間誒，即係喺美國都相當出名嘅大學咧，就展現俾大家睇啊。咁究究竟其實係喺美國讀大學嘅時候係一種點樣嘅體驗咧？佢哋即係你感受到嘅模式究竟係點咧？ And the reason for picking these three is that these would all be universities which many people have heard of. They would perhaps be seen as equivalent to a G5 in the UK. They would want students who have been academically very successful. However, a student following a US application process is looking to pick an academic experience rather than a subject, and therefore a student would be very poorly advised to apply to these three universities, even though they need the same grades. And、the reason is because they're looking for people who aren't just smart, but who are smart in different ways. For example, Dartmouth is a small community、um, in the rural part of New Hampshire, and so Dartmouth needs to know that people who are there can work collaboratively alongside a community. And Dartmouth actually asks students when they apply, as well as their three references from school, to provide an additional reference from a friend. UCLA, on the other hand, is a huge university which receives over a hundred thousand applications a year. When students apply there, they do not send any references. Indeed, their school sends nothing because students have to demonstrate how independent they can be and how they may do do not need a community. Whereas, thirdly, NYU, being in and of a major city like New York, will ask students to write about how they will take advantage of New York City as part of their degree. So the complexity in the U.S. application isn't just saying I'm smart and I'm going to apply to the top 20 U.S. universities, because they are looking for students to directly tailor their application to the experience of each university. And a student who might be saying I'm going to apply to Harvard and Stanford and MIT and UCLA will be very disappointed that they find that they have not understood the process and are likely to get four denials despite their grades being excellent. O.K. 咁啊，即係剛才 David 講好多啦。咁其實最主要嘅誒講法咧，就係啊，第一點解佢會揀呢三間學校咧？因為佢嘅誒，即係嘅成績或者表現都好好，就等同於可能係誒英國嘅 G5 啦。但係個問題就係在於佢每一間學校去 apply 嘅時候咧，個玩法都會有啲唔同嘅。例如其中一間佢就會講到啊，咁你除咗有一個 free 誒，有三個 reference letter 係嚟自。誒、呃、可能係誒誒、呃、本身學校之外咧，亦都有有另外三個 reference letter 可能嚟自你即係身邊一啲朋友嘅。另外一個咧就可能係唔唔需要你有 reference letter 嘅。誒、呃、即係唔同嘅大學係有唔同嘅做法。而而 David 剛才強調咧，誒佢哋唔係淨係揀一個 smart 嘅人咯，而係喺唔同嘅方面都會展現到好 smart 咯。咁所以誒、呃、學生一定要好理解清楚究竟每一間大學究竟佢唔同嘅 apply 嘅方法。或者個玩法究竟係點啦？如果唔係話，就算你好聰明都好啦，誒、呃、成績好好都好啦，都可能會 fail， 因為你根本就唔知佢個規則係點啊。咁所以嚟緊 David 就會即係簡單講下，即係係啦，即係究竟佢哋個即係規則究竟係點咧？或者如果大家有問題嘅話，亦都可以喺度問嘅。Um, and it's important to say that sometimes families may say to us, well, it doesn't matter. We'll just go to the best one that we can get into. The problem is that the application has to be tailored to the different styles of university. So, a student who would be saying they're applying to NYU and Dartmouth and UCLA, which some of these are universities where nine out of ten, nineteen out of twenty people who apply don't get in, you are weakening your chances of getting into one by applying just to three. 
And so it's really important with US application that sometimes less is more in terms of an overall strategy. Mm. 咁剛才 David 就提到個哲學啦，就 less than more 啊。咁個原因係咩咧？就因為誒、呃，其實學校係要求啲學生一個好 tailor made、好度身訂造嘅一個 application 去展現到點解你係會符合到誒呢一啲嘅學校嘅誒、呃。正如佢剛才提到嘅數字啦，咁其實誒每一年佢哋即係都會 reject 好多唔同嘅學生係啦。咁所以如果你好花時間去啊，即係咩學校我都諗住 apply 誒、呃、誒，越多越好的話咧，咁其實你。基本上係浪費緊自己時間，亦都係浪費緊即係誒自己嘅精力，係啦。咁 rather 即係咁樣做嘅話，咁不如就啊你揀咗或者瞭解多啲邊一間大學比較適合自己，然咁，然之後就即係專門去 focus 喺嗰幾間嘅大學咯。And very quickly, you'll see in the slide here for a second to understand the scale is important. That last year, a quarter of a million applicants to the Ivy League were denied. Was in the UK, only 350,000 UK students chose to enter a UK university. So the scale is really very extreme. 嗯，系啦，即系即系，正如刚才所讲啦 ，Ivy League 每年都会拒绝大概即系二十五万个学生咁。咁但系喺英国，你讲紧系每年有三十五万个学生可以入到大学，所以其实嗰个 scale 系诶可以话喺英国同埋美国其实即系都争好远下嘅。嗯、um,。So when students are choosing U.S. universities, it's important that they understand how the system works differently. And put very quickly, the U.K. model is you are going to study one thing; you are getting what you ordered, like going to a restaurant and ordering that menu. Whereas in the U.S., you are getting a buffet that is provided for you. So someone studying history in the U.K. would just study history for three or four years. Someone studying history in the U.S. would only study it for a third of their classes. And in those other two thirds comes where the difference between Dartmouth or NYU or UCLA or indeed many other university comes in. The experience of what a student would study at one US university could be completely different from what they would study at a university even within the same city. Okay. 啊，英國大學咧就正如剛才 David 所講，就好似你入一間餐廳咁，然之後你 order 一樣嘢，咁你就 order 完之後就食咗佢，咁就係啦。美國嘅即係制度咧，就可能係比較自助餐式，咁佢擺曬好多唔同嘅嘢，好多唔同 option 去俾你選擇。誒、呃、而誒、呃、你喺嗰度讀嘅話，即係每一間大學個 experience 都可以好唔同嘅。即係即使係同一個 city 入面啦，即係你讀 A 大學或者 B 大學，佢出嚟嗰個俾你個體驗咧，其實都可以係完全係唔同嘅啦。I'm going to skip through the next few slides just to make sure we fit the time.、Um, on in the UK. For students are looking, it is a selection process based almost entirely on academics. So, a student who is looking to study, say, chemistry with three Bs at A level, will not be able to look at a university with higher grades than that. So, the UK process does focus entirely on an academic model with a filter at that point of selection. Okay. 誒英國嘅制度就即係比較去去睇個學術啦，咁其實基本上用個學術嘅成績就已經可以做一個誒篩選嘅一個過程咯。咁呢個就英國嘅制度嘅一個特色。However, what we see increasingly for students who want to study at universities across Europe,、um, with many degrees over a thousand now taught entirely in English, is that students can get into world-class universities. For example, this is KU Leuven in Belgium. With very low grades, where there is an open access into the first year of that university course, but a very high bar to get from year one to year two. And a student wanting to look at somewhere like Leuven, which is top 100 in the world, will find that just passing three A levels gives them initial access, but there is a second phase of selection coming later. Okay. 誒、uh, ，即係另外一種咧，就係可能係歐洲啲大學啦，例如剛才即係 David 提到嘅呢一間。誒佢係 open access， 誒、呃、即係你入去係好容易嘅，咁但係由 year one 去到 year two 嘅時候咧，就會係誒、呃、即係個個難度就會相當之高咯，係啦，咁呢個就係佢哋一啲大學嘅特色。And then what we also see with some universities in Europe and other countries is where courses are not selecting purely on academics, but are selecting on their aptitude with a particular skill. That may be things that are quite traditional, for example, a music conservatoire or an art college, but also places like, for example, here Ecole Hotelier de Lausanne in Switzerland, which is training the five-star luxury brand and hotel managers of the future, 
which is looking for people with an aptitude for that. That might be an aptitude in something like mechanical engineering at the Carl Benz School in Germany. It might be in the performing arts, like Institutes of the Arts Barcelona. But students who have a particular skill set in one field can find these universities, which are going to select based on that. Okay. 另外一種就可能好睇你個 aptitude， 即係你個特質。誒、呃，未必好關 academic 事。咁但係如果你本身有啲 skill set， 或者你想培養嘅 skill set 係能夠符合到誒嗰間大學嘅話。誒、呃，即係例如你你想讀誒誒、呃呃、酒店業，咁咁多人係即係瑞士嘅大學會即係比較最合適啦，係啦，即係諸如此類嘅話，咁唔一定係睇 academic 嘅，係啦，咁呢一個就係另外一啲歐洲大學嘅一個特色咯。So we are available to help people navigate these processes,、um, and it's our great pleasure to have a good relationship with Irene and the team at James Lee to work alongside the guardians and the student school to deal with these complexities. 嗯，係啦，咁誒、呃、University 街就同我哋 James Lee 係有合作啦，咁即係因為大家都知道啊，成個即係大學嘅制度其實係可以相當之複雜嘅，咁但係咁所以就點解要有啲專家，即係例如好似阿 David 咁樣去話俾大家聽啊，點樣可以比較容易啲去理解，或者容易啲去選擇一個自己合適想讀嘅大學咧？ Our website, theuniversityguys.com, includes all sorts of resources and information, including Other webinars that students and parents can watch back in their own time. 誒係啦，咁誒 University 街佢個本身個 website 有好多唔同嘅資源啦，例如即係好似我哋今日做緊 webinar， 或者阿 David 誒或者其他其他同事之前同人做 webinar 咧，大家都可以重温翻嘅。And we also have the University Guide podcast with short episodes covering different topics, which students can also use as a resource. 嗯，咁另外就係 broadcast 啦，誒、呃、香港即係都開始多人用嘅，咁就可以聽翻啲唔同嘅誒、呃、episode 啊，咁然之後就會瞭解多啲誒、呃、關於一啲 top tips 誒、呃、或者一啲唔同嘅嘅 tips 咯、啊，去去讀即係去選擇大學。So that concludes the presentation. My contact details are there, and now through Chris and Irene, we have about probably ten to fifteen minutes to take some questions. 嗯。係啦，咁誒呢個就係即係誒阿阿 David 本身啲 information 啦，佢嘅電郵啊、電話啊之類之類咁樣。係啦，咁而家我哋就即係進入 Q&A 嘅時間。係啦，咁所以就睇下大家有冇啲咩問題咯。OK， 阿、uh, David， I got a first question for you. So， 誒、uh, basically if you need to direct， 誒、uh, apply to those、uh, US university and there's lots of options on that。How to make sure, or how parents or students can think about which university is suitable for them? Not good, but suitable. So yes, well, I mean, and that's the thing is that within good there is so much variation that either through their own work or working with a specialist that we will work out what does that student need in order to be successful at university, both academically and culturally. And then from there, we will be able to suggest a short list of universities for them to start to research. I think everyone needs to understand it's going to take significant amounts of time, and our model is to empower a family to make good decisions rather than just tell them where they're going to be able to to go. Okay. 誒、uh, ，剛才我就問到啦，咁其實即係有咁多唔同嘅大學，有好多亦都要去 tailor m a d e 自己，或者去即係、就是、去 direct apply， 咁點樣會知道咧？咁 David 承認呢個係一個好耗時嘅一個過程嚟嘅，咁所以亦都點解要需要有專家去話到俾大家聽，可能同啲同學仔傾完之後知道佢哋嗰個誒，佢、呃、佢想 achieve 到啲乜嘢啊？誒、呃，諸如此類咁樣，咁所以即係成個過程中誒係、呃、需要時間嘅，但係亦都唔係。做唔到咯。如果要揾一個即係想 apply 而適合嘅大學 ，Irene，I think you got a question from Facebook.、Right? Yes,、uh, I've got a question from a parent.、Um, hello, Giselle. So the question is: My daughter is in Year Twelve and will be applying to MIT Biomedical Engineering. Her SAT subject tests have been cancelled back in June. Should she apply with early common application? Even with the delay of SAT and predicted grades, what would be the universities in the U.S. process、uh, in international application in general in the face of COVID-19? Okay, thank you. So there's a few complications in there. The first thing I would say is actually the student won't be applying for biomedical engineering. They will be applying to MIT, and they might express a preference for biomedical engineering. 
but they will just be admitted to MIT's Bachelor of Science degree. Um, and it's worth saying that's important because MIT's Bachelor of Science degree actually includes a common core, which includes a lot of humanities and social sciences. Um, it's a common mistake that I see that students apply to MIT without realising just how much non-science classes they will have to take. And MIT tests this actually by making sure that one of your three references must be from a non-science or maths subject. Um, I, I say, you know, do engineers going to MIT want to write essays on Shakespeare? Because if they don't, it's probably not the right fit for them. Um, shall I pause for Chris to translate that and then I can do the next bit or shall I carry on? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Uh, uh, apply MIT uh, uh, Medical Engineering, Hello, Okay. And con conveniently, I have an MIT slide, which I skipped through, which I've put up. The yeah. thing with the testing, I would say, is that that is a really complicated situation right now with COVID-19. Many universities have gone test optional, which means they do not require testing. MIT has not, but they have said that you do not have to have the subject tests in that part of that kind of a process. So it is a very flexible time right now. What we will get tomorrow is that the college board who run SATs will be releasing the registration process for SAT ones for the reasoning test. And that would be where the focus I would suggest would be to first of all, get an SAT done if possible and move on. However, it is highly likely if in-person SATs do not happen by September, that increasing numbers of US universities will join places like UChicago, NYU and indeed Cornell by not requiring SATs for entry in the next cycle. Mm. 剛才我們有一個slide講到MIT 本身基本上已經是很不同了。And um, the final thing I'll add on that is, a student studying engineering at MIT, which is an institute of technology with the humanities core, will study very different things from a student studying at, um, engineering at Harvard, where it's within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences just as a major, and indeed will study very different things than if they'd gone to maybe Cal Berkeley, where there is a specific college of chemistry. And so it's really, in engineering more so than any other subject, that students don't naively apply to what they think are just good US universities. It is the most common thing I see where students are surprised that they might apply to eight US universities and get zero offers. They made a mistake that they didn't even know they were making in choosing where to apply out of naivety. Mm, okay, 你在哈佛或者其他不同的大學讀生類似的學科其實你得出來的經驗或者讀的東西其實是可以很難完畢切是自然不同 Okay, thank you very much, David, for answering that. So I have a question on a UK university one. Um, for the adjustment, so we've currently got a student who's got offers um, at two universities and he thinks he's going to get better marks now 
um, you know, with his current mock grades. So is he is he able to use that current mock grades to apply for adjustment? Because obviously the offers were based on predicted grades back in January. Yeah, so it's important to understand that the mock grades will not actually be the grades that students get. There's a very complicated process um, and a lot of students have been um, misunderstanding the reality of that. If the student was predicted, say, three Bs, and that the grades that they get in the 13th of August are three A's, then yes, the student can bank the offers that they've got and then shop around for something that they perceive to be better. Okay. 剛才Arrange問到 即是不同的學科,是不是?這個是我剛才的,有沒有補充,Irene? So, um, David, uh, how are they going to come up with the final final grades because they're saying they're taking a lot of things into consideration right yes. so how are they going to do this fairly um without having like an external exam board look at it uh, and it's all based on is it in-house it's the um well the exam boards are looking at it and that's the bit i think okay. students have missed so the school has to produce a grade and a rank order. So you might be given an A, but you might be the 20th best A in that subject from that school. And so using historic data that the exam boards have from each school, their coursework, their normal grade process, the exam board can move up or down that rank order. So if you were A, but the 20th best A, and they decide that actually everyone from 15 down in that category now becomes a B, then everything shifts up or down. So students need to not be, again, naive that their grades that the school gives are going to be the grades that they get. Hmm.係啦,咁即係剛才就講到即係嗰個佢哋點樣predict grade呢,咁即係第一個比較grade嚟啦,咁但係同一時間佢哋都會去留意返嗰個rank I think we got one final question in Facebook, right? Uh, so, yes, so it's it's the same uh, parent with the daughter uh, who's applying to MIT. Um, Giselle said, in what way should I support my daughter to apply for scholarships or grants in science? What sort of resume or experience will be preferable? Okay, so that's an extraordinarily complicated question. Um, which would be 40 minutes really worth of, of exploring. Very basically, MIT is not generous in terms of scholarship to international students, but does offer need-based aid, what we would call a bursary in the UK. Um, what I would say to Giselle is, it sounds as if that there is um, some quite um, intensive conversation that would need to happen here, because just from the way the questions have been asked, it suggests that perhaps you might be um, wandering into a process that could potentially go quite badly wrong just from a, a lack of, of information. And that may be something where we, um, to, with James Lee and myself working together, can help you understand a bit more about that process. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, the audience uh, just said, so, uh, just said, 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 uh, just International student 嚟講呢,佢比scholarship呢就唔係太慷慨嘅,即係個難度係即係其實相當之高,咁所以即係而Giselle呢個問題就係可以expand到去到即係個40分鐘或者50分鐘嘅一個好individual的talk咯,係
即係去 apply 嘅話咧，亦都可能會去一個好錯嘅一個方向。咁所以係啦，我哋呢度有阿 David 嘅一個資料啦。咁誒，大家可以亦都可以同我哋誒 James Lee 去聯絡，係啦。咁然之後就睇下啊，你嗰個 case 究竟係想點，或者你之後誒點樣想幫你嘅小朋友諸如此類咁樣咯。Okay, so I, I think there's a few more questions, but we're running out of time. So uh, what parents or the audience can do is maybe send us an email or David's uh, contact information is right here. Um, so please feel free to contact us or contact David uh, if you have any further questions. And um, with maneuvering with uh, complex applications such as the US ones, I think it's very, very important to have um, a qualified consultant who can guide you through these journey. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much, David, for your time today. Thank you, David. Thank you. I'm very uh, welcome to come back anytime. Yeah, <laughs> Thank sure. you very much. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Keep well. Thank you. And you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.